Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Natalie Fund. I'm an integrative wellness coach. My last few videos have been part of a series that I'm doing all about the six human needs in relationship to what we're going through with the coronavirus quarantine and just like all the fear, the uncertainty, the anxiety. Uh, basically, the six human needs help you understand why you do what you do, which allows you then to decidedly choose something else that's higher level. We all use the six human needs. Uh, we will, I should say we meet the six human needs at a low level, level or high level all day, every single day with every single choice or non-choice, which is a choice that we make. So uh, if you haven't seen my first two videos on this, go watch them. Uh, they're down below and they are, the first one is not numbered, but the second one is labeled number two. Uh, so go find it and then today we're going to dig into the human need of uncertainty and variety. There are a lot of ways that each and every person can in different ways be meeting the need for uncertainty and variety. So I'm going to give you a few examples and on all of these videos I would love to hear your input if you have more ideas of low level or high level ways, um, more examples. So please feel free to share. I, I love learning from you as well as much as I love sharing with you what I have learned. And the I first thing I want to share is this is kind of obvious with any kind of stressor. Some people People will turn to drugs and alcohol. That is a way to get variety as well as a few other human needs. So you can think about that when you're watching those videos. Uh, but this is a, a way to, to feed the need for uncertainty slash variety. Oftentimes using the word variety in place of uncertainty kind of makes this make a lot more sense because we all need variety. It is the spice of life. <laughs> So if you can think about how people are trying to spice their lives up right now when we have just been confined mostly to our houses, <laughs> it's getting interesting, isn't it? So a few other negative ways that people might be feeding their need for uncertainty and variety would be going out to public spaces even though uh, we obviously know that there's more likely to be people congregating and crowding and therefore spreading germs. It's this, uh, it, it almost feels like um, people are in denial of what's going on, uh, but this is feeding their need for uncertainty and variety. They're trying to spice up their life uh, by not staying home. Some people might be starting more arguments or finding more things to nitpick. Might be a little more on edge. This is because they have learned through experience, through habit, that they can meet needs in this way. Some people might be reading and sharing all the stressful things, all, every news article, every new number, um, even some of the comedic memes are really stressful. Also, that being said, some people might just be diving into all the comedic memes or watching all the TV shows right now. You're living on Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime and that is your world right now. Now, don't get me wrong, I love a good uh, Netflix binge, but spending all day, every day of this quarantine watching shows or reading random articles or sharing all the memes like that has its time and place but it is not your life your life your vitality the way you spend your energy matters you matter you're important and so i want to talk about higher level ways to meet these needs and some of these are direct opposites you'll find and of course again if you have ideas if this is giving you light bulb moments or something tell me below in the comments let me know what you're thinking what kind of process you're having i always love hearing from you you could um for new new things to drink you could be starting to pick up some kombucha or some cavita um, trying some new tea-like beverages or um, 
beverages that feed the microbiome with healthy bacteria. You could be drinking uh, new, t new teas, trying new things like that, um, or just bringing old love teas back into your life because now you have more time to sit and enjoy them. Also, many, many, many teas have antiviral properties or antioxidant properties, which will help to boost your immune system right now during this time, which is, of course, very important. You could be looking up new recipes so that once a week when you go grocery shopping, you pick up some new ingredients and you learn to put them together in a different way than normal, kind of um, using this time to break your norm, which will give you variety and a little bit of uncertainty. Am I gonna make this recipe good or not? <laughs> Only you hold the answer in your future self. <laughs> you could decide to look up new hikes and really be purposeful about looking for trails that fewer people are going to be on or trails that might have more space so that if you are passing someone you can still leave six feet of distance between you. Um, or you could go out to some remote fields and have a picnic with your family or the loved one that you're quarantining with. Um, Again, keep in mind that if, if you and another friend, if you live solo and you know another friend is completely by themselves, they are quarantining solo, after two weeks you guys can quarantine together as long as you maintain that distance from everyone else. You could play board games with your family or whoever you're quarantining with. Um, and if you don't have a family that you are living with right now, that you're with during quarantine, then what you can do is um, you can create a Zoom link so that you can have a Zoom room where several people could be on the screen playing a social game together. Or you could even get like, um, like we have a would you rather game or we have a sparked game that sparks conversations, any kind of question and answer game. You could even get on your Facebook Live and start asking those and you might be surprised on who responds and who you get to spend some quality time with um, and learn something new about them as well. For a lot of people, especially if you don't have small children, this is a time where you have more time on your hands, <laughs> which is awesome. All right, like our culture really celebrates being busy in an unhealthy way. It is not cool to be busy all the time. It is not cool to not have space for yourself, your self-care, your spiritual self-care, your mental fitness. So use this time wisely to charge yourself. So how you do that, you, you, you don't read every stressful article. You set a boundary with that so that you can provide in, uh, create a safe container for yourself so that you can flourish. So you, you should even write down what are these boundaries that, that are important to me that are necessary for me to spend time working on myself. And what do you do during that time? You can read any kind of book you want. Um, especially something that gets your creative juices going, though, gets you feeling inspired. So reading, writing, journaling, meditating, and of course any craft, drawing. Um, you could start making your friends cards. You could write your friends cards. Have a few pen pals during this time. Um, get back into the excitement of snail mail. There's knitting, crocheting, sewing. I'm seeing a lot of friends sewing masks right now. And of course, if you have um, surplus, it's awesome to donate them to friends or to sell them to friends or even to donate to hospitals right now. They are very in need. So if that's a skill you have, get to sewing. <laughs> There's also, of course, painting and drawing, clay modeling, just anything that makes you feel creative, gets you expressing your inner self. Go for it, you guys. This is the time to charge, to do that, okay? If you need journaling prompts, linked below, you can get on my mailing list by, um, by getting my by getting my ebook, 11 Steps to Love Your Body Now. Um, that'll put you on my mailing list. I often send out journaling prompts with my newsletter. So if you're ever like feeling stuck, I don't know what to write, then go sign up for that and I will help you. You can also just reach out like down below, write me a comment, let me know that you need help with some journaling prompts. I'm always happy to help with that. Other things that you can do that would be higher level for variety and uncertainty would be to sign up for Audible if you haven't or download a few new Audible books or um, ask your friends for their favorite Audibles or um, just generally books <laughs> to read. Uh, read something that you wouldn't otherwise read. Um, like I often read nonfiction. Um, I do have a small child, so I don't have a lot of extra time right now, 
But if I did, I would want to read like a fiction adventure right now, something really lighthearted. I, I urge you to gravitate towards lightheartedness right now, like really um, lift the energy of the collective that we're feeling. And that happens one person at a time. So by lightening your own mood, your own burden, you can lighten the burden of a lot of other people. Of course, you can start a book club. I also encourage you to try all the new online classes that have been popping up. You know, there are a lot of online classes that have been around for a long time. I've talked about how much I love Bailey Brown Pilates before. She started on YouTube and now she has her own app. It's amazing. So you can go check her out. Or um, I also love Allo Moves Yoga. There are tons and tons endless possibilities for ways to work out from home. So don't let not having a gym stop you. That is just a stupid excuse and you know it. <laughs> all right, you guys, that is all that I've got in my notes. If you, again, if you have more ideas, write them below. I'd love to hear from you. If you are not subscribed yet, please hit subscribe, ring the bell. That way you get notified every time I post a video, you don't miss a single one. Doing so really helps me to grow my community so that I can keep spending the time to share all of this knowledge and insight with you. Thanks so much for being here and I hope to hear from you and see you soon. Bye you guys.